That is right. It was an exciting time, an exciting day here at the Crown Plaza. Uh, Tim Burchett captured the second congressional seat. Uh, and, and as he walked through the door, there were so many excited people, so many people yelling and cheering. And in that victory speech, he talked about all of the people who helped to make this possible. Uh, there was so much excitement in the room uh, and, and um, he helped us understand uh, what this means to him and what this means to the people of East Tennessee. But we got a chance to ask about what that moment felt like. Uh, and he said that uh, it, it was an amazing moment to see all that support. It's magic. I mean, it really is. It's um, I guess it's just the realization of a lot of hard work from a lot of people paid off. So I just couldn't be more pleased. See now again, um, the congressman will replace 50 years of Duncan's. He says he looks forward to doing a lot for the people of East Tennessee. Back to you. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. And we thought we saw the new uh, <laughs> congressman elects Carhartt hand I think right we behind did. you. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank had you. a cameo in that shot. <laughs> well, his opponent, Renee Hoyas, is also in Knoxville tonight. And WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith is live with her campaign at the Standard and has her reaction. Shannon. <laughs> Hey Beth, the party ended just about 10 minutes ago, so everyone's kind of moved over to a different location to continue to celebrate what they say was still a big night for the Knox County Democratic Party, even with just the one win of Gloria Johnson in the state house. Now, Renee Hoyos put up a big campaign against former Knox County Mayor and now uh, elect Congressman Tim Burchett, but said that she's already looking forward to the next election cycle, saying that she hopes that she can add something to any other people coming up that want to run for the Democratic Party here in Knox County. Listen to what she says about that. Certainly we're all going to come back and help new candidates and encourage new candidates. I think I've learned a lot and so I can contribute a lot to other candidates that want to run. And we ran great candidates up and down the ballot, really hardworking, you know, good on the issues, great candidates. Renee Hoyos did get more votes this election than any other Democratic candidate has that has run for this exact seat in Congress.